Hey everyone, it's Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction slash Gardener. Welcome back for another gray frickin' day in the Pacific Northwest. I don't know why I thought that summer was coming. It's just the first of July. Why would I ever imagine that it would actually be, you know, sunny and warm? The weather forecast does actually say that it is supposed to be warming up into like the 90s uh, by the end of the week. So by the time this video actually posts, I will be complaining about how hot it is and not about how gray it is. I'm just, I'm just never happy. I'm just never happy with the weather. But if it could just be like mostly sunny and 74 degrees for the rest of my life, I would just be a happy camper. I don't know where that climate exists. Um, I think nowhere. I think nowhere. So I'm just going to have to suck it up where I am because I don't want to have to move anywhere else where there's weird bugs. So now that I've complained about the weather as I seem to have been doing the last several weeks, let's just get into the tour. And we're going to start right here. Look at all these lovely flowers that are coming in. The flower beds that I have in front of our bedroom windows are absolutely chaotic. They're just a big green mess. But now there are pops of color coming in. The flower bed that I have outside of our master bedroom, all of the larkspur is coming up. And for the most part, it's just been some dark purples, but some lighter shades of purples and some pinks are popping in. And it's absolutely lovely. And there's a big mullein plant that's coming up. There was one that had come up there last year that I actually moved out to the bed on the outskirts of our garden. And a bunch are coming up there from the one last year that had dropped seeds. But I decided to keep the mullein that was in front of our bedroom this year. And the hummingbirds have been just all over the place. And now I'm seeing bees and now I'm feeling nervous. If you saw my video last week, where I did my capsule wardrobe, uh, I added in the story about my new bee allergy that I have. So um, I'm just, I'm not gonna interact with them anymore. Like I used to, I used to love being with the bees and now I have slight, slight hesitancy towards their presence. So we're gonna, we're gonna move to a different part of the yard where there's bees. All right, to the garden. Okie dokie, to the garden. This really unsightly area, don't mind it, but we live here. Our broken easy up has been providing shade to the boys' water play on the days that it has actually been warm. My large camping chair, Alec, has fallen asleep in a couple times. It's quite adorable. All these cucumbers that I had gotten from the compost pile a couple weeks ago, I think they might be melons, like, like a squash. So I'm very, very curious to see what ends up happening there. I'm trying not to be disappointed in my garden because things are just not happening like I imagine. Um, something's coming up here. I think I planted dill. I honestly don't remember. I don't remember. I did a lot of stuff a couple weeks ago and I don't recall what I've done, but the basil plants that my mom gave me, this one started to flower. So I just pinched that off because I'm never ready for it. I need some more basil so I can make some pesto. And then these are three basil plants that I had started that I had in pots and they were not doing good, but this one particularly seems to be doing much better since I put them in the ground. So fingers crossed. That specific variety is I want to say an ever bearing variety from botanical interest. It's slow to bolt. I tried growing it last year, failed. I'll try again, I'll try again. I'm not really happy with how I started seeds this year. I did soil blocking, which we've talked about in the past and I was very happy with that, but I do not think that I should have used just like a raised bed potting mix. I should have done some kind of like seed starting specific thing. I don't know. Um, I did something wrong and now I'm like paying for it in certain areas of the garden. The edamame is doing wonderful. At some point I put a tomato in there and it's doing good. My pumpkins are doing wonderful. I need to start doing some weeding in here. I have no idea what that is, but I don't think it's something that I planted. And then down here, we have still been doing quite a bit of strawberry harvesting, which the boys have been loving. There have been several unripe strawberries that have been picked, but I don't really know what else to expect at this point in my life. As far as the jalapeno situation down here goes, the new babies are coming up from the seeds that I had Josh plant to replace the sad starts of mine. Uh, I think that might be one, but also, I don't know. My mom has a few jalapeno plants that she's going to give to me. Um, there are also several different varieties of peppers and we honestly don't know what is what. So I might end up with some California reapers and I might end up with jalapenos, but. We're just gonna have to figure that out and hope that nobody touches them and rubs their eyes. This bed, broccoli, 
This is supposed to be like a whole head of broccoli variety that I grew, but I think that just because I did plant it too late, we're gonna end up just like having to harvest. Uh, that focus get weird. I hope that didn't ruin my entire video. I think that the boys might just each end up getting like one piece of broccoli because I feel like this is going to flower soon before it gets any bigger. But well, we'll see what happens. And then our shelling peas have been very much abused, uh, specifically by Alec. And I think that they might just be done, but I did pop in a few more seeds along there. So we'll hopefully get another round and then I'll probably end up planting some more just because ugh, I just love the shelling peas so much. They're so wonderful. That nasturtium's doing good, not kind of, not climbing necessarily like I imagine. And then the marigolds that I planted there, nothing's happening. But the kale and the broccoli over here is doing wonderful. And then tonight, Josh is actually at the grocery store right now. He's gonna pick up a steak and we are going to have a lovely salad with our steak tonight. And then over here, carrots are doing great. And then the new ones that I popped in are coming up. Oh, and then over here, we've got a new addition to the garden. I had strong goals not to buy anything else plant-wise this year, but Alec and I went to the nursery with my parents and he came across this lemon tree, this Meyer lemon tree that already had like quite a bit of fruit on it. And it really is just beautiful. So Alec insisted. And now we are the proud owners of a wee lemon tree, which will end up having to go in the house during the cooler temperatures. But for right now, it gets to live outside. Let's see, uh, I forgot about these things down here. They are doing just fine. Josh just got home particularly early from the grocery store. I have a strong feeling that he forgot his wallet. The tomatoes that I put in over here are doing really great. None of the carrot seeds that I put in there have popped up yet. And then over there, the chamomile that I said I needed to harvest, I still haven't done anything with. Ah, typical Aubrey. Oh, oh gosh, holy. I did not even realize that all of those beans had come up. That's wild and wonderful. Okay, so I only put, I think one, maybe two seeds in those. All of the other beans that I had planted, I had soaked, oh, there was just a mama bunny and her baby. That was so cute. I had soaked like my mom told me to do, but not all of them came up and they were from the same seed packet. So I wonder if maybe I, soaked them too long that might be that might be what happened these onions i'm so excited for that to bloom that's one of my favorites and then our cabbage i'm just really very excited about how amazing these look the cabbage that i had planted along the wall last year it grew and it was doing okay but it just had so much bug damage like way 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 more than that one ever did so let's see. Okay, we're gonna go to, we're just gonna, we're gonna do the perimeter. All right, out here. It's just, I really hope this fills in because it's just like a really disappointing, hideous mess right now. I think that what I want to do is put more like perennial herbs in there. So there's just something happening in here to hopefully keep the weeds down because I'm just really struggling with weeds on the perimeter beds this year. But here's some of that mullen. I think the big mullen was like right here last year. And then one of my zinnias, there's that one. It's, yeah, I really started those way too early. And then my still existing zucchini plants seem to be doing okay. There's another mullen. But there is uh, quite a bit of snapdragons that are coming up from the snapdragon variety that I planted last year and the year before. And that was magic carpet variety from Botanical Interest. And it is a shorter variety of snapdragon. And I really love that one. That was a lot of fun for the boys. Really, really beautiful variety of colors. And then let's see what is going on over here. Okay, Lufagord, Lufagord, Lufagord. They're doing okay. And obviously just more weeds. Oh, and then over here to my sage plant, I was really kind of concerned about him or her, I don't know, for a while, but it looks like things seem to be improving drastically. And then I do not think that any of the cucumber seeds that I planted over here ended up coming up. I think one did, one came up and then something ate it. But I think that the cucumber seeds that I had were just way too old because the ones that I had planted over here, only a couple had ended up germinating. But these down here were seeds from this year that a friend had given me and they all came up. I do need, I need to do some slug bait over here because obviously 
those are getting gobbled up in some places. And then the new sunflower seeds that I popped in there came up. But these two, I am very excited about those. Oh, look, our first nasturtium bloom. Oh, I love those so much. And then yay for that cucumber. Oh, and I think another one and another. Cucumbers might happen. I also forgot about this. My cherry tomato basket is doing so good. Those were the best of the cherry tomato starts that I had this year. That grape is really getting big. And then Jackson's sunflower from school. I've been kind of trying to weave it in there to keep it up. It was a little wobbly over there. And then sunflower, part of a sunflower. Again, need to get over here with some slug bait. Here's that chamomile again. Oh, I just almost don't want to harvest it because it's just so simple and pretty. <sighs> Where to next? Blueberries. These are looking so, so good. We just really need to do like a really big lawn care day, like where we weed and weed whack literally everything and just do a big mow because it's like we take care of one part of the yard, but then it grows, it all comes back. But there's always like some area of the yard that is kind of like lost in the process. This is the side of the greenhouse that we don't typically go down, but there's a lot of huckleberries that I just wanted to show you guys. Look at our large, wonderful huckleberry bushes and all of the mosquitoes in the yard live here. Not, not all of them, but 99% of them. And then there is this rose bush right here that I need to find a new home for. I really, I was going to do that this year and I didn't, but I need to, I've got to do it. And now that we're over here, raspberry bush, the boys obviously have not found this area yet but I'm very excited about this. My parents have a really wonderful trellis system for their raspberries, so they're very much more organized and less like a crazy bush situation. Oh, there's a bunny. Let's see if we can see it. Little bunny butt. We have so many little rabbits here. I love it. And then over here to the pumpkin squash bed, I've slowly but surely have eradicated the majority of the weeds and then our one sad corn stalk. I mean, I guess it's not super sad, but oh, I guess we have two. Let's see, is it knee high by the 4th of July? Eh, don't mind my very cool outfit today. Uh, maybe my toddler's knees, maybe Alex's knees. And I also just love that this bird, he's just not freaked out. Or that bunny. Let's see, he's behind that pot. Let's see if we can get another little peek. Come and be my friend. Oh, let's see, I think that might be mom. Are you the mama? Well, we're just gonna continue the garden tour. Just like I'm Snow White or something. I just want to bring them home with me. Oh, another big mullein coming over here. Uh, Josh's new little office thing. We need to paint it and do something with, I don't know what we're gonna do with this area because right now he really just has a lawn that is primarily weeds. Okay, so the pumpkin section over here. I'm wondering if because it's warmer next to the building, like if that's providing some kind of extra something or other to those two pumpkin plants. This one over here, I did pull one out and just looking a little yellow and I'm wondering about that. Hmm, what's that mean? Hi potato bug or roly poly. This one, same thing. I did leave two there. And then this one over here, I was deciding like, which one do I want to take out? But I don't know. I think I might just leave them. Actually, you know what? This one, oh gosh, they both have a yellow leaf. I was thinking this one was that and I was gonna pull it out, but the decisions are hard. I don't like having to choose which plant life to end. My cilantro is bolting. What was I expecting? And then just real quick over here to the front yard area, we're going to go check on the zinnias. This is one that was from my mom. That is one of the sad ones that I grew. We will, we will wait and see. There were a couple from last week that Alec and I harvested. I'm kind of just waiting for those to fill in. I'm trying not to panic because last year, I don't even think that I had any zinnia blooms until August. And I know that like the back of the seed packet literally says that zinnias do not benefit by being planted early. And I think that I thought it was warming up and it wasn't. And I got just way too ahead of myself. I planted them, um, my starts and the seeds 
and it just didn't do anything good for them. So I'm debating on buying more zinnia seeds and planting them now, but also like, no, you just stop putting things on your plate, Aubrey, what's wrong with you? I love these daisies here. Even Josh said that he really liked those. And those are just daisies that happen because they're just all over the dang place. Like we've got a field full of them and they're just, they come up randomly everywhere. They're basically dandelions that get sold in some stores. And while I do really like those daisies, I wish that they would have ended up happening there. I imagine those zinnias filling in like really tall cause they're supposed to be like three, three and a half feet tall. I imagine that filling in over there, but now I don't like how it's like, and then it gets, so short towards the house. I want the tall stuff closer to the house. I think that I will, I'll probably just do daisies there next year because they're extremely easy to grow. Okay, that is all for the garden tour. That is all for the garden tour today. Next week, we are not having a garden tour. We are leaving for a family camp out. Josh's, his dad's side of the family. They do a big family uh, get together, big camp out every year. And it is like one of the things that we look forward to the most during the summer. And I'm very, very excited for it. We're gonna be out on a lake. The kids are gonna have a ton of fun. I'm going to be exhausted, but it is going to be a really good time. So since we will be gone on the day that I'm typically recording the garden tours, I'm just gonna say scratch it next week, but I will see you the following week. I guess today that I'm posting this, it's the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July, have fun. Don't catch anything on fire. I will see you in the next one. As always, I love you, have fun and be kind.